Hey guys, so in this video I'll be reviewing the Arteza Everblend Marker set of 60 and this video will be divided in 5 parts. I will start by talking about the packaging, then the color selection, the blendability, the cost of the markers and then I will put it into test and I will be drawing, uh, uh, I'll drawing a sketch that I did of Goku. Now if you are interested in these markers, uh, you can have a 10% off coupon code if you hit the description below. So without further ado, let's start with the review. So it comes inside this box and as you can see, it's a really strong sturdy box and if you open it, you have the entire color selection of the Arteza markers and as you can see it's really nice really looks uh, really nice really amazing the only downside I've, I've saw of this box is that when you take out a marker right, and you have to put it back it's a little bit difficult it's not really easy so you have to stretch it out and you know put it back uh, however for the packaging that was the only downside so for the packaging and presentation I would give it a solid 4 out of 5 it's now it's time to talk about the color selection and I'm doing a really quick swatch uh, right now and as you can see you have a really really nice selection of color with reds purples blues reds again <laughs> oranges yellows greens blues browns skin tones and then you have grays the problem with this color selection though is that you don't have a lot of skin tones and grays and for me I do, I do a lot of anime drawings and you need those skin tones for the different characters and then you need the grays for deeper shadows you know because you don't want to be using the black for deeper shadow you need those grays so um, the color selection is fine if you don't if you use it for different things for example if you draw flowers or you do a lot of nature you have a really good selection of greens and blues for the sky and you also have you know good purples and pinks for the flowers and stuff so it all depends on what you use your markers for but for me I will need to give the color selection a 3.5 now it's time to talk about the blendability of the markers and what really set these markers apart from other chip markers is that they are really 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 good at blending so I have two reds right here I have the ruby red and the uh, rose red and I will start the blending test with these two colors they really lay down smoothly Then I just go past it. As you can see, that is a really smooth, smooth blending. Let's try the blending test with some blues. I'll start with the light blue. As you can 
share it in. They read it. They smoke it. They really do. So the blend for the blendability of these pens, I would give a five out of five. Time to talk about the cost and put it into test. As you can see, I am inking and draw a drawing of Goku, and I will let her color it. About the cost, they are about 66 pounds for a 60 set, which means it's about one pound and ten cents for each marker and it's quite cheap if you compare it to like Copics which is about four pounds per marker in the Copic Chow and then ten pounds per marker in the Copy Sketch so um, so for the cost of this they're, they're really great they're really great so I would definitely recommend them and now I will leave you to the test just hit the description below.